help you with your gift making ideas. So today we're going to start with coasters and also hot plates. Um, we made them out of regular ceramic tiles that we got at Home Depot. Um, so you'll need one of these to start. Um, you will also need some of these felt pads that we're going to place at the bottom of our coaster. Um, and then you will need some regular Sharpies um, so that you can make your design. And then you will need some alcohol. It has to be 99% or else it won't work. You'll need an eyedropper so that you can drop your alcohol into your tile. And then at the very end you'll need some clear matte sealer so that you can seal it up. And then we're going to stick it on each of the corners of our tile. So with this, you can basically scribble on it, do anything you want, but you don't want to just draw a picture because it's going to blend and it's going to look like this. So you're going to need maybe three or four color, colors so that you have a really good mix. Um, and you want to make sure that you have solid colors and you fill up the whole tile so there's no white showing. what it looks like after we have scribbled on it with Sharpie. As you can see, you don't really need to be an artist to do this crap. Your eyedropper, we're going to dip it in and fill it up, but we want to do small drops so that it doesn't wash completely off and we have to wait for it to expand. Uh, so now we're going to let our tiles dry and then once they have dried completely we're going to put three coats of this lacquer on in between the coats we're going to make sure it's dry. Uh, make sure you do it in a well ventilated area outside, don't do it inside. So our tiles look completely different than what they did before when we put the alcohol on, don't they Savannah? <laughs> mm -hmm. Whose do you think looks best? Mine. Yours? Yours? Yeah. <laughs> Here's the finished products. They all look so different. Just so beautiful. These are hot plates. We are going to show you how to do bookmarks using the same technique that we did for the tiles. So for this one, you're going to need a milk jug and then you're going to need to cut it out into strips. So it looks like this. You're going to need a hole puncher. You're going to need assorted colors of thread. You're going to need some beads. And then you are going to use the same bottle that you bought, the alcohol 99%. And then you're going to need to use the lacquer, so when, when you seal it after you're done. We're going to hole punch it like this. <gasps> I think she's going to love this. You think she'll like it? Yeah. I okay. hope she doesn't watch the video and know what you're making her. <gasps> you just let out the secret! <laughs> oh no! Hold yours up. So this is what it turned out to be before we put on the alcohol. Exact same idea as the tiles, right? Yep. Easy peasy? Yep. Easy peasy. <laughs> that much? Yep, you're doing the magic. Now we're gonna let them dry. And once they've dried, we're gonna spray three coats of this. And in between the coats, you wanna make sure that it dries completely. Now we're gonna do the string on our bookmark. We just used a sampler to show you while ours dry. Um, so you just choose 
a color of string you want. I choose it. Yeah, and I choose green. So we're gonna cut it to the length that we need, probably just about here. And if it's too long, we can cut later. We're gonna go like this, Dean. We're gonna put it in a little loop. We're gonna put our loop through the hole. It's right, you, this, the, and our dad fat. Um, this end. <laughs> This end. So you're gonna put this part through the hole. Then we're gonna pull it out and take this end. You're gonna put it through like that and pull it. You done through that bit. So a good thing about it. Yeah. So now we're gonna put two to three beads on our little string right here. The Dean, you can choose. All right, so we beaded the string that we put on and then we tied a knot that was bigger than the bead that we placed on so that the beads don't fall off. And this is what yours should look like when you are done. Do you think your friends who read will like it? Yeah. <laughs>